but it's still every man for really themselves up there. Sweden and then go in Helsinki, Finland. Oh, yeah, as the next part of the adventure. Hey, so check this out, right? I got a ferry ticket on Viking Lines, on Viking Cruise Lines. I got for about $100, all right? It's small, but since I'm not sharing it with anybody, I get the whole cabin to myself. Check this out, get my own bathroom. All right, for the next few hours, this is home. I got in enough time that I have an early morning. We get into port at 10 o'clock, don't want to rush to the deck so I don't miss anything. I don't miss, I guess you could say take off because I don't know how else to put it. We're on the ship, Gabriella. Grunolund. Next time, Nestatil. Wow, okay, so you got uh, a bunch of stuff. Here's a buffet. Cool, the kids can play here. Okay, so this is the duty free shops. Okay. Wow. Like a mini mall. Shoot. If you wanted to, you could buy meat. Who would have thought? Viking line souvenirs. Of course. This is like the everything. <laughs> so you see that the boat is turning. See, you can see it slightly. But I can feel every time we make a turn. Look how far off we are now. Of the pin or the needle. Look how far it's turned. It was like every man for themselves up there. I'm trying to figure out how to eat this. Not easy. Oh, and they come in these little plastic. This is uh, something different, obviously. It's kick kickly, and that's porridge. And of course, I poured on the lingonberry. And I'm having a cheese plate this early in the morning. Oh my god, <laughs> that coffee is really strong. I'm trying this for the first time. It looks good. It looks different. It looks mustardy. It tastes dry. Like, you get the juice right there, but it tastes kind of dry. Like, I'm eating tofu. I'm eating tofu. I'm eating tofu. That's what it is. It's black, uh, black seaweed rope, blue cheese, which looks moldy but that's just the way it comes. And I don't know if that's dried. No, it's fruit. My cheese plate early in the morning. Because it's surprisingly a part of fruit cost like this. Yeah, so that is the black seed row. I love brie. Now this is a double brie I can tell. Usually if it's triple, it's creamier and spreader. spreadable. I'm gonna try what this is. Oh, you don't want to try it on cheese. It almost looks like it's pesto, but it's not. I'll try some pickled herring. Oh, the dill. It's the dill in there. And it's actually pretty good. The green stuff is good. Oh yeah.
bus out to this host's location. Well, good news, bad news. So the Airbnb place I was about to check into, well, they said 11 and I said 11.30, I've got a little behind. So I get here to the correct address. Nobody was there. I went to go look for somebody at the complex, found a neighbor. I asked him, I said, hey, I, I'm supposed to meet so-and-so because I'm staying here. And I said, Airbnb. I showed him the number and the information and he had to ask his daughter. He says, I don't think they're allowed to be doing Airbnbs here. The guy doesn't own this place. <sighs> oh wait, it gets better. He allowed me to use the phone to contact this person. So we contacted, we contacted, uh, let me use the, his phone. He dialed the number, dialed it twice, same thing. It was a disconnected or a fake number. Go figure. So the plan is now going back into the city, find some Wi-Fi, get a hold of my friend Yanni, and see if he'll allow me to still take up his offer to a crush at his place. It's not what I was planning. I wanted to have my own thing going on. Definitely gonna get my money back. It, it'll probably work out better anyway. I'd rather be closer in the city because this, at least in Helsinki, some of the things in the city are nicer to see. Right now at this point, I'm only on, my carrier settings got messed up. Um, that would be something I'll have to handle when I get home. So I'm using Wi-Fi. I'm just, I'm, I'm disgusted now. I mean, it could be a lot worse, but. So I get back into town, get to Central Station, get a hold of Airbnb, the first thing. I do not message the guy back, because he did message me. By the time I got back here, I saw the message pop up. I refused to reply back to the host just yet. Called Airbnb, let them know, hey, so, you know, what the situation is, and the host is not supposed to be doing this. And now I don't feel comfortable, it is suspicious, and ask for a refund. Of course, you know, I'm gonna ask for a refund. The host did mess, when I got here, I got replied, after I contact Airbnb, I did reply back to the host. He was asking where I was, and why did I contact the neighbor? And I just simply said, I'm not able to call my, use my phone to make calls right now, and only able to use Wi-Fi, and I asked the neighbor to contact you. I get a message, again from the host, Either he's angry or upset. I didn't see the whole message. I refuse to look at it at this point. He's like, why did you ask my neighbors, blah, blah, blah. Right there, man. That's something shady. Uh-uh. I'm not, I'm not gonna get put in the middle of that. He must know that he was doing something illegally or wrong. I will say Airbnb is great. For the most part, I've had good experience. That does put up a good point. You, sh you know, if there's a way to, to, to like verify if they are, if they're, if they're a legal post. Got a hold of my friend Yanni. He did offer to allow me to crash at his place, which I didn't want to do that initially because I wanted to do this on my own. I mean, I, it would be great to have that as a backup and I wasn't wanting to rely on him solely. Yeah, you know, I wanted to be able to just hang out with my friends, not have them feel obligated, you know. Um, but he's cool. He, I contacted Yanni. He's like, yeah, it's it's cool. He just got to straighten up his place. He wasn't expecting me as a guest in that aspect, but he's cool with it. Wow. <laughs> anyway, so right now I want to find a coffee shop like a Starbucks. I'm going to chill out if I can use their Wi-Fi. Okay, so off to the next part of the plan now. Okay. So I get a message back from Airbnb. I hope this message finds you well. Please be advised that we have canceled the reservation and you will receive a full refund of the amount. The refund will be immediate on our end, however, may take up to 15 business days to appear on your bank statement depending on your bank's pro process or process. Thank you. I My trust level has dropped uh, from that person. Definitely, definitely. How do you check in the beginning though? They could be a legit host, but are they able to be legit hosting at their property? Anyway, here is beautiful Helsinki and the sun is shining bright in my eyes. I can't see a thing. But the adventure continues. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. <laughs>
Pustis, Joseph was a homie. Oh.